Time for a dream home. Welcome to Hudson Construction with Madison off on her own little adventure. It looks like I can resume working on my dream homes. I'm a little uneasy though. There's some kind of massive sand shroud in Gerda Desert right now after all. There's nothing I can do about that. I'll just keep her home safe until she returns. And in the meantime, I need to buckle down and get to work. Hudson's Construction's whole business is built around supporting our customers as they assemble their dream home. Maybe you want to add a nice space to display some of your favorite pictures. <gasps> but can I really? Or a place a care for your beloved horses. But that's nothing compared to what's really important and what all of your, our customers truly enjoy, which is <laughs> the opportunity to assemble all these individual, individual rooms on their own. That's so cool. Oh my gosh, this is my thing, isn't it? The decoration and stuff. You can pick the rooms you want and then you can put them together the way you always imagined. That's the real core of the service we provide. We even give a little commemorative gift, okay, to celebrate starting down the path to dream home ownership. You know, our whole family is in your debt for all your help with Madison. If you're interested in a dream home, I'll set you up with a discount. It's my way of saying thank you. Uh, dream home please you're interested in a dream home that's great there's a vacant plot in a prime location i'm sure you'll like it ordinarily the land alone would cost three thousand rupees but as a special just for you i can offer a land rooms combination deal for only fifteen thousand. actually never mind let's see well i will reserve the land just in case you change your mind please come to see me if it happens yeah i can't afford that yet and i don't think i'll afford it for a while, this will be something I do later. Uh, oh, uh, what I'm trying to say is, a buck Buckablin's most distinguishing feature is its nose, which you'll find squished upon its face like blue. Its ears, on the other hand, are quite whoopy, and its horn goes with. Oh, that's some very good descriptions. Mm. That description of yours can't say I get the picture. What's going on? Oh, uh, hello. I'm. I have a feeling I'm going to need to take a picture. Uh, well, it'd be better if I had a detailed picture. I well, had a detailed picture. Okay, for now, we're going to head up to the ancient tech lab, I think. Um, and get some shrines on the way, maybe. Yeah, I want to go down here. There's a few. There's a shrine over there, I know. Very back, Navi. What's in here? Oh my gosh. Irvine. Our... Um, I don't know what I'm doing here. Mm. Yeah, all I see. Then do we attach it, perhaps? I don't know what these are supposed to do. Okay, there's flame emitters. There's a chest over there. Oh my gosh, I can't. Whoa! Whoa! Holy shit, I've never seen that. Well then, so what now? What are these things? And why would I need this? Oh. Oh. I see why this might be important now. Okay, that works. All right, cool. That was easy. And now I can have another heart container. Okay, let's go. I can already see Pin. Hi there, partner. <laughs> the noise you made. Laugh. <laughs> Oops. Hi, Pin. Uh, partner, you're here. I should have known you'd come to this stable too. Anyone with a beak? Oh, okay. A god horse. Suspicious events at the nearby laboratory. We could ink a week's worth of issues about the going-ons in this place alone, but I have bad news. As the headline is no leads on Princess Zelda at the stable, the chirps and no warbles, nothing pains me to leave knowing how many articles I could have hatched here. There's nothing I can do but take a wing and have for another stable. Anyway. Okay. I hear the horse god is near here. Welcome to East Oculus Stable. Uh, I- wait, hold on. What did you say? Oh, that's right. Did you meet Melania at Bloodleaf Lake North? I hear that it, if he takes a liking to you, he can boost your horse's abilities or even bring your... It can run back to life. Boost their abilities? Sounds far-fetched. It'd be fantastic if it was true. 
I will certainly be looking into that. Maybe at the shrine around here. I'm going to see the horse god. Oh, I see it. I remember the horse god being looking and look, uh, sorry, looking kind of scary. But I guess we'll find out. Let's see it. Someone give it to me. Even one will do. Someone, please. Please feed me an Endura Kira. Um, there's an Endura Kira. Oh, what a kind soul. <laughs> there we go. There's that eeriness. wasn't it? You're the one who gave me that Endura carrot. Okay, he doesn't look quite as intimidating as I remember him being. For so long, my stomach has been torturously empty. Thanks to you, I at last had the energy to emerge from my bud. You have my thanks. My name is Melania. I am the god who watches over the horses of this world. Grateful as I am that you fed me my first meal in so long, my appetite still is not satisfied. What shall I do? Shall I eat you? I can see you. Try. I just, you do not look appetizing. Well, thanks. Another Endura Care ought to do. In exchange, I grant your wishes. Those related to horse. You grant wishes? Yes, I can revive loyal seeds that have died or enhance horses' abilities. But if you want me to use my powers, bring me adequate compensation. Bring food. I don't want just any food either. Yes, the Endura Carrot you gave me was tasty enough. But you, you don't only eat carrots. Your food is better, isn't it? I want some of those. What are they called? Meals? Bring me some of those. Uh, what? Why are you looking at me like that? This is not about me wanting to eat ta tasty meals. I say this for your sake. The god of the horses cannot revive on an empty stomach generations after generations has repeated that saying. It means that if you want me to enhance or revive a virtuous seed, you must give me food. Ah. Oh. Well, I'm gonna need these items in order to enhance things, so uh, th uh, this will be something I do off episodes. I oh, will, well then. <laughs> he is a little creepy. That's interesting though. Okay, where is the shrine for this uh, staple? Oh, it's over there, okay. Alright, let's do it. Alright, what are we getting ourselves into? Courage to pluck. <sighs> this looks fun. Oh, it's like Jenga. Well, I haven't said that name in so long. What the fuck? I don't even know if that's even a popular thing anymore, is it? All right, well, apparently I need to connect these somehow. Oh, there's a chest. Will it make me restart? Yeah, it does. Okay. This. I'll get the chest, trust me. Um, I'll also get this chest. Ah, okay. Nice. Ooh, there's the chest. Okay, hold on a second. Let me get this chest. Yes, that's okay with me. Ooh. Oh, I see. I get it. Like that. Just, okay. Yeah, take your time. What is it doing? <laughs> like, for real? Okay. Victory. Victory screech! <laughs> Alright, Nobby, let's go to the ancient tech lab. Uh, what? Where's you next? Good evening. Are you out on an adventure too? I'm not just on any journey across the land, but a journey through time. I'm trying to get my eyes on... The old stuff, I all the old stuff I can. I wanted to see if they had anything like that at Akala Ancient Tech Lab, but it seems like some weirdos took the place over, so I'm pretty much in still here. What? Oh, what the? All right, so the Yuga clan is behind this. Um, I wasn't expecting to uh, have to do this today. Seems I've lost my way. I don't think you want to go up there, or maybe you do because you're working with them. I don't know why I just got a flashback of my first time playing Breath of the Wild. 
My first time playing Breath of the Wild, I was playing it on the Wii U. Um, am I gonna walk through the front entrance or what? Like salmon. Oh wow. Wait, somebody's in there. Oh my gosh, there's Yiga clan outfits. You can sneak in through their territory with that shit. Yiga foot soldier. I'll give those miserable Shika one thing. They made us a decent laboratory. You got Blade Master. Never seen conversation with them. What did they think was going to happen after leaving it alone for so long? We've taken over this place. It's now the Yiga Clan's Akala branch. They left some parts and materials lying around here too. Those might be useful, so send them to the hideouts research team right away. Why is there a person in there looking at their fucking armor? How right away are we talking here? I mean, we're in Akala, Northeast Hyrule, and the hideout is all the way southwest in Gerudo region. Since it's on the completely opposite side of the map, I get the feeling that it might take a while. Stow the complaints. The role of the branches is to provide intel and supplies to hideouts, labs, and our bases in the depths. Anything we think is useful goes to the hideout. That's the ironclad rule. My apologies. I'll pass their supplies along as quickly as I can. Honestly, I don't think there's a way, but just walking through the front door. All right, we're going in. There's a way. You, it's Link. Get ready for battle. They're already screwed because it's lightning outside. Oh my gosh, did the other guy die already because of lightning? He's going to die from lightning. There it is. This has happened to me when I was doing this before in the old game. His weapon is going to kill him. His weapon killed him. Mm, I'm good, and I also don't want to be... This is ridiculous. What? Oh, sorry. I'm sorry, okay? I'll make your little uniforms without complaints, I swear. Hold up. Hey, hey, Superstar, you're not with the Yiga Clan, are you? Please come here here to rescue me. Uh, they're dead, and they're dead because they went outside with metal weapons. That's that's fantastic. Uh, I've been cooped up in here forever. The name's Kanba. I've got a knack for style and the nimble digits I need to spin my ideas into reality. Alas, that pure talent is why the Yiga Clan kidnapped me and forced me to make their outfits for them. If I ever sew one of those tacky rags again, it'll be too soon. In fact, you should take the Yiga armor I just finished. Burn it. Toss it. Do what you want. Just get it away from me. Armor supplied to the members of the Yiga Clan. Defense parts are minimized for silence. Lacking protection, though. The look may lack, but the tailoring is sublime. You wore the whole set. You fit right in with the Yiga Clan. On that note, I gotta hurry out of here. Don't worry. I'm more athletic than I look. They only caught me last time because they messed up. That won't happen again. See you around. Where do I get the rest of the armor? I need that. What? Travel medallion prototype? Robbie reverse engineered a travel medallion to make it this prototypical version, but it's unusable in its current state because it's missing some important data. The fuck does that mean? Okay, what is this? A really clan journal? Yes. We've now taken over the Sheikah lab and filled out the map with the locations of our hideouts and branches. The lab is located near a local stable. It's also not far from Terrytown, which was impacted by falling Zonai ruins and parts. Suffice it to say, I think both these locations will be suitable for procuring supplies and intel. Though we haven't yet received any word of Zelda, there have been many reported sightings of her swordsman Link. His days are numbered, though, as the surface division is setting up a network on their terrifying banana traps that I uh, recognize. I'm embarrassed to say I've fallen for one myself, tempting though it may be. Try not to pick up any bananas off the road. Okay, this might be where I find the rest of the armor, and I will be taking a picture of it. Okay. Yep, man, I can't wait. Okay. Enough of this. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm gonna go back and take Navi up here. I think there may be a shrine over here somewhere. 
Then we're going to head all the way freaking back. Oh my gosh, we're going to stop at Lookout Landing. And then we're going to go to Kakariko Village again. And then we're going to go down through Kakariko and go straight to the Geoglyph. So we're going to be doing a lot of adventuring. Oh my gosh, one of them just died. Oh, well, thanks for the free stuff. All right, Navi, let's go. Okay. Very right back, Navi. Be safe. All right, let's do this. Combat training. Ooh, the sneak strike, too. I'm happy with this. I was built for this. Ooh, we're going to be sneaking around, and I have stealth armor, so... Approach the enemies back without being noticed and deal surprise attack. Oh, don't worry. I know how to do this. Plus, I'm wearing stealth armor, so it should be easier. I know how to crouch. You guys, seriously, I like this music. Well done. Now what? You want me to actually fight it? What? You don't surprise? Oh, it's moving now. Well, guess what? I still have stealth armor, so I have that on my side. Boom. Also, it's probably a lot easier for me since I have stealth armor, so... It might not be that hard in general because you're crouching. Let's see. Sneaky! Nice! Thanks. Alright, here we go. We're gonna be on a long adventure now. It is so interesting traveling so much. I really like doing it, like traveling on horse, because it's so awesome to see the scenery and like the weather change and, and things like that you know okay navi hi there guys ah oh, new man link it's you so you have returned to lookout landing we the zora brigade were sent here by order of king sidon please rest assured that we are sworn to protect lookout landing by the honor of our king yeah just don't stab me Guess we talk to Burra next. Ooh, Giotto's here. Oh no, this is Muzu. Why did I think that was Giotto? Ah, oh, Pura, Leaky, welcome back. I've been hearing a lot about your adventures, the major cold front that descended upon Oh uh, yeah. And find the sludge contaminating the Zora water supply, all of these things connected to the Princess Zelda. Things are much more serious than I anticipated. You need to hurry to the remaining region. What other village? Oops, sorry. Sorry, sorry, no, no, no. What other village? Village Southeast Tower. A Tenno. Okay. Probably a lab. Okay. Fortunately, there hasn't been bother random much in the sky. Although there's been unrest in the village, from what I've heard, arguments breaking out, things like that. Princess Zelda created a school there and was trying to use the village as a starting point to restoring Hyrule. Up until recently, it was a very peaceful place, you see. If you want more info, talk to Atmos down at the shelter. Okay, yeah. I know the remaining region is Gerudo. It is time a new generation to lead the way in Zora's domain. I leave it to King Sidon and Queen Yona to forge our path. In addition, we are preparing to embark on a diligent inquiry into the geoglyphs that have appeared across Hyrule. We will share any information we can cover. Of course, the kingdom is vast, so please understand that it will take some time for us to gather this information. Really now? That is interesting that you say that. Okay, that's all I really came here for. Um, oh yeah, I need to pray. Hold on. Praying more than once in one episode. Thank you. Now we continue on our adventure with Navi. To Kakariko we go. See if anything's changed. I doubt anything has. Maybe it has. Alright, Kakariko Village. Let's see. Um, I need to talk to... Wordsworth? This is Wordsworth. Yeah. Oh, I think good you... Oh my gosh, how did I miss this? Good of you to come, too curious to stay away. <laughs> Here again, what a droll sense of humor. It's me, Wordsworth, the ancient Hyrulean scholar you met at Lookout Landing, yes. Are you curious about my findings here, Link? Yes, I am. Oh. This is a picture of the stone tablet that fell from the sky at Lookout Landing. I managed to decipher the inscription on it using my notes on ancient Hyrulean I had in storage at this research lab. Mm. Here's what it says. Once held... I can't read that. So... So King Robert and Queen Sonia thereafter to his sister and to Princess Sonia. I don't know. Princess, sorry. Princess Zelda. 
I have no idea. I think I get a general idea of what it's saying. There's not much to go on, but you can clearly read the names of King Raru and Queen Sonia, the founders of Hyrule. The name Zelda is clearly tangible. Elsewhere in the text, the author finishes by saying that she will write about the royal family's daily lives in 13 segments. Oh. It certainly seems to be a royal diary left behind by a chamberlain or someone of equivalent station. The part that catches my attention is the third name mentioned, Zelda. There's no record of anyone by that name in any other text we've unearthed so far. But this is evidence that the name Zelda is much older than, than the princess, sorry. It dates all the way back to Hyrule's founding. <laughs> I don't know what to say about that. What's written here must be the start of the first-hand account of Hyrule. Did you notice the number 13 there? That means there are 12 more stone tablets to be found. If a royal chamberlain really left these, it's an interesting perspective on the day-to-day -day life of the era, one which the history books don't mention. There's so much we could learn here of King Ravu, Queen Sonya, or even this curious woman named Zelda. Or it, it's the actual princess, but okay. 12 stone tablets left. Fascinating. If you happen to find more stone tablets on your travels, get some kind of visual evidence of them and show them to me. Make sure there's a nice reward in for you. I actually have at least one. I can see the excitement face clear. Face clear. Yeah, I literally am excited. Clear as day. Have you already found something? If you track down a picture of a stone tablet, like the one at Lookout Landing, <laughs> I knew you could do it. Um, okay, this is the one that I probably found first. Interesting, I'll get right to translating it. Oh, ha. Uh, incredible. It's first-hand Hyrulean history. Here's what the original text says. So sweet the song of King Raru and so great the beauty of his sister's dance. I can't read some of it. I'm gonna read what I can. Something Queen Sonia's gazing, gazing on us. All. I don't know what the hell that says. Long be the life of the royal family there. Love so. Oh. Um, this is an account of a party from those days. It says King Raru and his older sister sang and danced together while Queen Sonia looked on. It's very interesting. We think royal we think of royalty as austere and reserved, but these nobles amuse themselves with song and dance, yeah. But what a vivid recounting of scene never before our Related in any history book. Time has been fucked with. <laughs> the descriptions of their personalities and expressions make the ancient past feel alive again. The stone tablet is a first class find. Well done, dear Chamberlain. I'm leaving in count, okay. I'm positively beside myself to think how this story from the ancient past preserved so long to reach us today. Very good. Thank you. I'm actually more interested in the story than Ruby is, honestly. The thought of such an incredible historical artifact falling down all over Hyrule is so exciting. According to the stone tablet at Lookout Landing, we have 11 tablets left to find. Are you finding more on your travels? Okay. Laboratory wall. Where should I display this one? Oh my gosh, you're gonna, actually, you're gonna put my pictures up there. There's one that fell in Zora's oh. domain, so thank you for bearing with me. You're welcome to come and have a look at the research lab wall at any time if you find any more okay pictures uh really did you put something on the wall Ooh, there's a there's what is that oh clips journal read clips journal while taru and i were taking a breath he asked me hey clip what attracted you to join the zonai survey team a little flustered i answered that I heard its research division was led by a brilliant man by the name of Taro. Because of you, essentially. I meant it sincerely, and in my heart, I long to continue. You're not like these other dullards. You know, you immediately grasp the breadth of my vision. Of course, no such thing passed my lips. Um, okay. <laughs> but I am certain that Taro and no one else is the man who can help the world see my indescribable worth. Our leader, Taro, has done nothing but surprise me since I joined the Zonai survey team. One day I arrived at the research site to find him sitting on bare earth as he started, if he, as he stared at a stone slab, sorry. I wished him a good morning, and to that he turned to me and said, Ah, Kalip, or Kalip, I don't know how to say it. Sorry, I didn't notice you working overtime today. I thought back to that night before, 
As I was heading in, I saw Taro sitting on bare earth examining a stone slab. It hit me then. He had stayed up all through the night, puzzling over that slab, never moving from his perch. I felt a profound envy of his ability to focus so completely that the passing of time escaped his notice. It's a researcher's duty to use his wisdom and intuition to bring to light historical truths which the ruins would keep secret. We carry on the work of our forebears and continue our pursuit tirelessly, then pass what we learn to those who come after. Our leader, Taro, understands well that this is not a, sing not a task that can be completed in a single generation. He says this is why he wants to make so many discoveries even if the credit to whom they belong is lost. That's the sort of man Taro is, but I, Dr. Kalip, won't be so easily satisfied. My discoveries will be noteworthy, to be sure, but it is my name that I want to live on forever, not just in people's memories, but in books, stone tablets, and, if I might be a trifle mod immodest, landmarks. Clip Valley, Clip River, the Clip Hills. My dreams recognize no boundaries. Well, I was going to say this person seems to simp for Taro, but I think it's more narcissistic, if anything. Okay, what's Paya doing? Oh. Master Link, hello. We must further our investigations of the Ring Ruins. They have become a symbol of the sorts. Okay. That's why I've been borrowing books and learning all I can from Taro about how to decipher his own eye writing. It is difficult, and truth be told, I hardly understand a thing. Still, I must try. Oh, this is Kalip. The asshole that's blocking the way. Okay. I know he's only doing what he's told, but still. Before I go, though. Hold on a second. Before- No, 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 no. There's the dragon! There's a dragon. I don't know if it's THE dragon. Which I need to get up there. I need to get up there. I need to get up there. I think this is a different dragon from the other one. Get up there. Get up there. Now. Where did it go? Oh, it's... It's cold. I have to... Nature scale. Here's the thing. I do not think this is the same dragon that I was thinking of. This one's a different one. The one I'm thinking of is more teal looking. <sighs> I did get what I wanted. So, okay, yeah, I definitely need to be going this way. I believe the next geoglyph. Yeah, it's down there. Okay, I don't know where I'm going, but I'm going. I might have to travel on foot. All right, we're going to go to the stable and I will be traveling on my own. Yeah, I'm going this way. Directly this way. There's a lot of mountains, so... Mm, I'm pretty sure, actually, this is where Lurlin Village is, so... I might be seeing some pirates today. I don't even know where the tower for this region is. Oh, I think I just found it. This is the tower. Oh, it's raining. It's always raining in this region. I see how that's a problem. Oh, damn it. Well, that's not exactly what I was wanting to do. Work like that then. Don't fall. Don't you dare fall. I swear to God. Oh, come on. Okay, I can open it. That's all I needed. Thanks. I'll probably be able to see the geoglyph and fly there from here. Whoa, what is that? The freaking Sky Island's crazy. Okay, hold on. Where is the... It's literally... That way. There it is. And I see the pirate ship too. And also, let's see, this geoglyph will be right before this one that we already have. So, will we watch both... Well, so we'll watch both of them. Watch the other one as a reminder, essentially. Lurlin Village. It's so pretty here. It's gonna be a free-for-all, isn't it? Well, I'm here for it. <laughs> I like to see you try. That works. Hi there. Oh, don't worry. I'll be fucking your ass up now. Yep. You're gonna wish you didn't fuck with me. It's a big raid, isn't it? See where kind of sort of some camps are. Oh, it's wet. That's why it did so much fucking damage. Oh, do not let them hit you. Reminder. 
Got him. Nope. Oh, I thought I died. Jesus. Here we go. Man, we work as a good team, guys. I am so grateful to have you. So the probably rest the rest of them are probably on the boat. And if I had to guess, it's yeah, it's a boss. Hi guys. Oh, I've never fought a black one before. So oh my god, they did that to themselves. <sighs> Oh my gosh, some of them fell in the water. That's hilarious. That's your little, um, your little flaw here by, uh, working on a ship. You know about? Yeah. Um, that was your flaw. Maybe you shouldn't be somewhere you could drown. What do you say? Fuck them. Yeah, they had a weakness there. I can't hear the monsters anymore. What? The monsters are gone? Everyone, it's safe to come back out now. Hey, I didn't get all my loot. Whoa, what are you doing here? It can't be. Those horrible monsters, they're all gone. Every last one of them. I saw everything from the house where I was hiding. This lone warrior type showed up out of nowhere and took out every monster in the village, in the village himself. Yeah, Bolson. Whoa, I can hardly believe it. You look like a strong breeze could blow you over, but you're as solid as stone. Extraordinary, that is what you are. I better get my loot! Thank you, I was so relieved that everyone in the village was escaped uninjured, but still, it was awful. All we could do was watch as the monsters overran our home. If you hadn't come, this village might be ruined beyond repair. We owe you a great debt. Thank you very much. The good news is not all of the houses have been destroyed. If we all work together, I'm sure we can rebuild. Don't worry, I'll fix up this house as the monsters destroyed. Yeah, I remember you. This kid's act of chivalry, chivalry has lit a fire under me. I'm ready to get to work, baby. <laughs> yeah, I remember him. Wilson, you're the only visitor, and yet, what can I say? Thank you. Uh, okay. I'm sorry, but I don't have anything I can give you as a reward not our village, now that our village is in shambles. Of course, once the village is rebuilt, we'll be sure to show you how warm our hospitality can be. Yes, I'm hopeful we can repay you. For all you've done one day eventually now listen everyone learn village has been given a chance for a fresh start I give my loot and then i'll be happy if we all do our part i know we can bring this baby back to from the brink okay so get ready because old bolson here is gonna keep you busy until this village is rebuilt okay i'm gonna get busy uh now that the pirates are gone even the air itself feels clean again truly i can't thank you enough the way you fought those pirates it was incredible Offspring. In Awe-inspiring, sorry. And now that you've driven them out, it's my turn to get to work. Yes, the pirates may be gone, but that doesn't mean we can roll out the welcome mat yet. <clears throat> sorry. <laughs> we have to do something about the state of the village, or no one will return home. Oh. Uh, don't worry, I might not look it, but I know a thing or two about construction. I believe you. Besides, I owe you no... I owe this whole village for taking me in, and I pay debts. It's my kind of thing. Materials. Hmm. I'm gonna need a rather large amount of logs and Hylian rights. And since I want to use these palm trees as central pillars in the buildings, the logs have to come from somewhere else. What did you say? No, I appreciate your offer, but you've already done so much. Drift off those awful pirates, after all. I couldn't ask an outsider to go through so much trouble for us, but no, of course. Don't worry about it. Now, now, he's offering to help. Who are we to say no? As of today, you and me are pals, and because we're pals, I'm gonna let you help me. Now that that's decided, I'm going to briefly go over everything on our to-do list. I think you can collect 15 logs for me. That's what we'll need. And when I say logs, I don't mean ones from palm trees. I mean to use those palm trees for something important, so get those logs from other trees, okay? Also, I'm going to need 20 bundles of Hylian rice to repair the thatched roofs that were burned. This is going to be satisfying when it's done. You can handle that too? Thank you for everything. I won't be able to assist you myself. I'll be looking around and assessing the damage. I'm going to call this project the Great Lurland Village Revival. Our first collaboration? How exciting is that? No pressure or anything, but I'll be counting on you. Okay. I'm so glad I saved it for you. However, I want my loot. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Fucking Lord Jesuses. I would have been so pissed, guys, if the loot disappeared. Thank God, because I've never fought a boss, a black boss before. See? 
Looks like Sculptulas belong in here. Wouldn't that be crazy if they brought them back, huh? All right, now for what I really came here for, we came here for the geoglyph. So last where we left off, it was when Zelda was worried about Hyrule back then, and Sonya was trying to calm her down and also teaching her more about her time power. Oh my gosh, this thing, this place is huge. Where is the fucking tear at? Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go back to the tower and try to do it from there because I'm not having much luck here. I see it. I see where it is. It's on the left. Here it is. <sighs> the next geoglyph. All right, Zelda. We are alone as you requested. What was it you wanted to discuss with me in private? <laughs> you are far too trusting. <laughs> oh my. I'm surprised to hear you say such a thing. That is quite out of character for the Zelda I know. But then you are a puppet of Ganondorf. Did you really think we hadn't realized your deceit? It was a boy. That jump scared me. What they didn't see coming was that. Oh my god. I'm sorry. <laughs> Bro, what the fuck? Bro, what the fuck? <laughs> Bro, I'm sorry, Ganondorf smile? Disturbed me a lot. <laughs> I have never been so disturbed dis disturbed by a Zelda game. I'm sorry. That was disturbing. The way he smiled was very disturbing. I'm pretty sure she's dead. I mean, we see this, but uh, we just saw in action a puppet like we kind of had been seeing like around Hyrule where she's just an imposter. But yeah, it was also very interesting to see Zelda smile evilly like that and stuff. Okay. Sonya meets with Zelda in private and when the princess is revealed to be a creature under Ganondorf's command, Sonya and the real Zelda address the threat with confidence. The false Zelda laughs eerily and vanishes in the midst of gloom. In that moment, Ganondorf steps up behind, the Son behind Sonya and catches the queen by surprise. She falls victim to the scheme. Sonya is caught by treachery. We'll rewatch this one just to remind ourselves. This will be just a reminder. We've seen this before, so. But very early on. Queen Sonya! Queen Sonya! He caught them off guard. Finally. 
it is mine. How can Sasha such a sacred stone even allow him to use it? I guess it doesn't really work like that. Nothing will be as creepy as that smile in the last one. <laughs> Their facial expressions are really good, though. Like the emotion you can feel in it. And therefore, he becomes the Demon King. She's, this is just horrifying. I feel so bad. Twizzlers. I'm sorry. Bro, I'm so inappropriate. Uh, hear me out. Why he kinda... No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding! I'm kidding. That's where the monsters came from. The birth of everything. And I haven't seen those things yet, by the way. They look like the the screaming people and like Ocarina of Time and stuff where you like look at them and they scream at you and you're like paralyzed. Chills watching this, and I've seen it before. Damn, this game is good. There's a prayer pad. But he hadn't seen that before. Do you even know who Zelda is? How she came back in time? He probably isn't aware. Maybe he is. I don't know. I don't know how much he knows. Freaking Twizzler hair. Twizzlers suck, by the way. No, I mean, for real. Not a hot take. That's just a fact. Oh, that gives me chills. This game has given me emotional chills. Yeah, that... Oh, sorry. That scene, oh my gosh, good lord. This scene was so good. It was like out of nowhere. And I I bet, like if I didn't know, if I didn't know about that, it would have been even more of a surprise. But my reaction, like I was still super surprised by everything in that. Holy shit. Okay, the next one we're getting is that one that looks like a shell or a stone. I think it might be a stone. But I actually marked it on the map because I found it. So, we might be seeing that in the next episode. But, that will be it for this episode. Bro, that fucking cuts had me so hyped. I fucking love this game. They did, they did such a good job with the animations. And it really, I'm gonna see Ganon in my fucking nightmares after that smile. Like, I don't get disturbed very often. Like, also, like, horror games and stuff. I don't really get scared. I get disturbed. And that was disturbing to me for whatever reason. Just, it looked so menacing and cursed. 
<laughs> so that was disturbing for me. It'll be okay, but I'm pretty sure if I watch this back, I'm going to be able to see it on my face. <laughs> like... Anyways, I hope you're all having a great day, great night whenever you're watching this. I probably have more thoughts about this in the next episode, but yeah, I will see you guys later.